Born to Ride is sponsored in part by Rubenstein Law, 1-800-FL-LEGAL, representing riders since 1988. Offices throughout Florida, 1-800-FL-LEGAL. If Instagram is your thing, we're there. We're everywhere. Follow us at hashtag Born to Ride Motorcycle Media, your number one motorcycle resource. Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride TV, the longest running biker TV show in the world. This week, we salute Dad, our fathers. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers who are born to ride. We'll go back inside the vault. Classic Father's Day features from 25 years of Born to Ride. Happy Father's Day. All this and more here on Born to Ride. Tune in to Born to Ride TV. You know, today's Father's Day, so I have my father here and I have my children. I'm pretty blessed to have such beautiful children and to be such a young father. And uh, we have three generations right here in front of you. And uh, Dad, it's good to have you here on Father's Day. Thanks, Ron. And it's good to be here with you three. And uh, believe me, uh, there's nothing like these two. They're the joys of my life, believe me. And uh, you also, you did a good job growing up and becoming what you are today and I sure am proud I'm proud to be a father and a grandfather to these two lovely children well, thanks dad you've always been there for me and uh, to all the fathers out there I want to wish you guys a happy Father's Day and uh, have, we have a great show coming up for you and I just want to say dad I love you and uh, to kids I love you guys too I uh, love you all wonderful okay so stay tuned right here for more on Born to Ride All those people are all smartened up talking kids, Arnie and K-Fizz, eh? And they know what's going on. What you gonna do when Born to Ride runs wild on you, brother? Okay, I'm coming up to my dad's house today. It's for Father's Day. He doesn't know that he's in the Born to Ride magazine. He's about to find out, and we're about to open the show for Born to Ride's Father's Day episode. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Oh, oh brother, where'd you pick up that picture from? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boom. That's, that's taking me a long way back. Wow. But. Dads take too much credit because most of the credit should go to their sons and daughters because, believe it or not, this guy's done a lot for me. Well, uh, it's Born to Ride and it's Happy Father's Day. It's the Father's Day edition. Just want to welcome everybody to the show. I got my dad. He just saw the Born to Ride magazine for the first time. He didn't know it was the Father's Day edition and he was included in it. What'd you think, Dad? I think it's... Just touching, and I'm really, really touched with it. It uh, shows the love that are in people these days, and uh, we need more of it. And I sure get a lot of love for my my children, and I appreciate. It. All right, well, happy Father's Day, Dad. Coming up Thanks. on the show, we got a great story of the Hodge family. A very touching story about uh, Mr. Rowe and his son and um, a lot of other things right here on Born to Ride. It's all because we care, and happy Father's Day out there to the fathers, and once again, happy Father's Day, Dad. Thanks, Ron. I love you, and happy Father's Day. I love you, too, and I love all you guys. And we'll be right back with more on Born to Ride from the Father's Day episode of Born to Ride. Matt Hotch is one of the most dynamic custom motorcycle builders in the world today. At the age of 10, Matt Hotch was using his father's experience and knowledge to generate tangible creations. 
His childhood memories that took place in the garage with his dad, Pat Hodge, and his granddad, Joe Hodge, are a direct source of his success today. Pat Hodge, Matt Hodge's father, is no stranger to the world of motorcycle repair. And Pat Hodge is truly a success in the field of fatherhood. And no man could possibly want more for their son than what Matt has become not only as a builder, but as a father. I always knew Matt's potential, Pat said, but I never dreamed it would turn out like this. I'm very proud of Matt. It's hard to put into words. As a father, you raise your kids and hope that everything turns out all right. And Matt just took that to a whole new level. Pat Hotch is now retired and works with Matt hands-on in the shop and is a proud grandfather of Matt's son, Ryder, and a set of twins that his daughter Connie had just this year. When I was growing up, my grandfather and my father always had clean garages with pegboards to hang tools and a painted floor, explained Matt. During every family holiday, the guys would always go out to the garage and these are some of the best memories I have shared with both of them. They'd show me how to use all their tools. And just like his father, Matt would rather talk about his son than himself. I'm a new father, he said. It's awesome and pretty unbelievable to have my own son. It's a life-changing event. People can tell you about it, but actually doing it is amazing. So here's an idea for this Father's Day. Don't just tell your dad that you appreciate him. Appreciate him for all he has to offer. Ask him about what he was like growing up and try to find out what made him who he is today. Ask him about his work, his experience, and his expertise. Share in his interests and hobbies. This information and the memories that you create with your father may turn out to be unexpectedly valuable, like in the story of Matt Hotch Designs. This Father's Day, we are honoring a special father. Newport Ritchie resident David Rowe's son, Sergeant Mike Rowe, gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Sergeant Rowe was killed in action last year in Iraq. Tragically, it was on the day before his 24th birthday. His father, David, has made it his life's ambition to share his son's story through a custom 1977 Harley Sportster that is wrapped in his son's uniform. The U.S. Military Vets Motorcycle Club recently recognized this act of love and respect and honored David and his son, Sergeant Rowe, at a recent get-together where hearts were touched by his story of the bike, his son, and his son's baby, which Sergeant Rowe never had a chance to know or hold. We're here on the Bud Run, and uh, what we're doing here is uh, honoring Michael David Rowe, his dad here. He honored his son who, who passed away in a an IED explosion in Iraq, and he laminated his motorcycle with his son's uniform. And we at the U.S. Military Vets honor this man and his son and the sacrifices the family has made. And I'd like to read a poem that this son, Michael, wrote to him for Father's Day. Father, I will always look on you as a man whose shoes I will never fill, but I will do my best to make the right choices, to be as much a man as you. I cherish all your traits. Your hard, earnest work will always inspire me to do my best. Your word is something that you have shown me must be kept. And I admire how you can do that unconsciously. Your kind and open heart will always let me be able to help anyone in need. And the fairness shown to all will always allow me to be impartial. Dad, you are the one in my life that I will always aspire to be like. I will never stop being someone that you can brag about. I want you to know that there is never a day I cannot be with you because we share these great traits you have instilled in me. Happy Father's Day. Thank you for being such a great dad, your son, Michael David Rowe. And today we honor this man and the sacrifices that he's made and so many others for the freedom that we just take for granted. God bless David Rowe. God bless America. God bless my son, That's my hero. Thank you. Thank you. We'll never forget him. Thank you. They want you to explain the, uh, the items on the motorcycle that you have placed on there from your son's uniform? The, the air cleaner I had made uh, several years ago uh, just had Rowe on it. And when my son passed away uh, and the idea hit me to make it a memorial to him, I took row off and I put that inscription on there right now. The uniform, 
I was doing a top end on the bike, and uh, it just hit me, I don't know, spiritual inspiration, if you will, to make it a memorial to him. So I asked his wife, I told his wife what I wanted to do. She consented to it. I spent uh, three hours dismantling the uniform with an X-Acto knife. A friend of mine, uh, AJ, from Street Seats, who does interiors for hot rods, he sewed it all together, redid the seat completely. He sewed patches on. Uh, the bike will never be done. I'll always be doing something to it. Uh, right now I'm in the process of making a license plate frame uh, with a cross on the top and the fallen soldier emblem, the boots, the M16 and the helmet. But my, my whole thing is to immortalize my son's memory. Our children come from different backgrounds with different stories. They learn time-honored values like the importance of faith, hard work, and that an education is something no one can take away. They learn that respect begins with themselves and should be given to others. The Florida Sheriff's Youth Ranches, where kids learn, laugh, and dream with people who refuse to give up on them. With your donation today, we can give them a brighter tomorrow. Saturday, July 24th, it's coming! Born to Ride's Great American Moto Fest. The demand for Harley Davidsons is at an all time high. People are buying Harley Davidsons as fast as we can stock them. That makes your bike worth more than ever before. Have you ever wonder what that bike sitting in your garage is worth? It's never been easier than right now. Come visit us at Crystal Harley Davidson, located in Homosasso, Florida, or visit us at crystalharley.com. We are uh, the High Seas Rally. We're the world's only biker rally on a cruise ship. Uh, we take over the entire cruise ship. We fill it with bikers. We fill it with vendors. We fill it with bands, and we have a good time. We party. We're, we're raising money for a couple good causes. We have our High Seas Rally Dialysis Fund. We're also tied in with the Wounded Warrior Project, so a lot of good causes. We give away around $200,000 worth of cash and prizes. So Molly Hatchet is one of the bands we're gonna have on board. We're really excited about that. Yeah, I'm part of the, uh, the production team and the programming team, so we kind of decide when the bands are playing, uh, what shows are happening, all the vendor expos and all that kind of stuff. We plan all the parties, so that's part of the reason I come out to a lot of the rallies is I can really talk to the guests and tell them what's going to be happening on the cruise. You know, we're talking with Trace Atkins and all the different events he wants to do and and, and everybody that's going to be on the cruise. So it's fun. And then, you know, we've got bike builders as well. Our, our main bike builder is uh, Xavier Muriel of Providence Cycle uh, Works, and he's uh, building us uh, a custom bike that will be given away on the ship. So everybody who has a cabin on the ship is automatically entered to win, and someone's walking away with the High Seas Rally 21 bike so that's pretty cool get on the ship don't miss it uh www.highseasrally.com you can sign up to win a free cabin there as well find out all about it find out about all of our discounts military discount first responder discounts and, and see what it's all about come check it out thank you joey so that's it guys the high seas rally you don't want to miss it get aboard that ship get out there and have some fun to ride caught up with two consistent winners of bike shows all around the area. Stephen Gehring Sr. and his only son Stephen Jr. have made it a point to enjoy their family's love of motorcycles together. Their custom big dog motorcycles always seem to take first place or best in show in just about every bike show event that they have entered. But showing their bikes is just part of their passion. Riding is the other. So, on this Father's Day, let's ride along with Stephen Sr. and Stephen Jr. as the Garings fire up their big dogs and remind all fathers and sons to find something you both enjoy and to get out and spend some time together. You won't regret it. Happy Father's Day from Born to Ride.
Honda Ride are always looking for exceptional talent in the custom bike arena. And recently, we found a truckload. Cody Hearsom and his father, Doug, owners of Razorback Hogs in Bolton, Ontario, have recently unveiled their first completed creation. And what a creation it is. Completely unique and unlike anything we've ever seen, we just had to bring you the 411 on the fertile imagination of its creator, young Cody Hearsom. But let's hear the story from the people that finally made it happen. Cody and his father, Doug Hearsom of Razorback Hogs. How it came about, I, I really don't know. Uh, 25 years of racing, two, year, two different marriages, and a son that just drove me crazy want, wanting a custom motorcycle. This whole, this whole thing is about my son. Our plans are in the next five years, Cody will take over the business and uh, I'll just be on the sidelines. I'll do a little bit of machining and give my input, but this is about Cody. Uh, having my son as a partner was something that uh, right from day one, when Cody came home from the hospital, that was my whole plan. However, it took uh, 15 years for my son to step up to the plate. As you can see, my son's pretty creative. This is pretty much all his design work. I, I have a little bit of influence there, but this is all Cody's talent with a pencil. Hi, my name is Cody Hearsom. Um, I'm along with my father, Doug Hearsom, from Razorback Hogs. Me and my father built this custom motorcycle, um, brought it to the Rats Hole at Daytona Bike Week. This has been our life for the past year, our first motorcycle ever ever completed. Um, all the design work and engineering is done by myself and my father. My father influences me more than anyone in the world. I love doing what I do, uh, just being beside him. It's just amazing to be able to do something like, like this with your family member, you know. My father has the most influence on me. Um, I think together we, we butt heads a lot, but we come to a uh, very mutual agreement and what you see sitting in front of you right here is uh, both my father's and myself's design work and um, this is our life you know like all our time and uh, energy has went into building this motorcycle we devoted uh, six months of our life to design work and engineering we've never built a motorcycle before this has been tough times both of us through the last six months of my life and I would just like to say to my father I love you and without you, I couldn't make it, Dad. He's the best. He's the man. Happy Father's Day. Thanks, bro. Seattle Engraving Center, the masters of gun customization. Featuring incredible detailed engraving, 24 karat gold plating, diamonds, gems, murals, amazing gold accents, first class quality, 100% satisfaction. More bang for your buck from their showroom. Raise money for your charity with a one of a kind prize. Seattle Engraving, you dream it, they will create it. gentleman who was out celebrating with his son and we thought we'd feature him this week on Father's Day. I was born to ride, man. <laughs> Tell you what, if he could ride, he'd still ride that mother. Ah, he's, he waited all week for this and he's just excited. Dad, this is for Father's Day. You can you're born to ride. Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs born. up, baby. Okay. All right. Born to ride. I love you. Yeah, I love you too, boy. Ha <laughs> <laughs> don't get a better than No, that. it doesn't That's get great. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Yeah. It's the Harley family. Yeah. 
I was born to ride. Born to ride. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I love you. Me too, boy. Oh, I love God. you and everything, but one day when you get old, you'll be working for me. <laughs> That's great. You're going to be working for him. And now a special Father's Day message from Emily and Ronnie Galletti. Get your motor running, head out on the highway, looking for adventure. Whatever comes our way. I know we're gonna make it happen, take the world and go on. We're born, born to be wild. We can climb so high, I never gonna wanna go. Born to be wild, born to be wild, born to be wild. Happy Father's Day! From Born to Ride! Let's go for a ride! Woo! It's Father's Day, so we gotta celebrate a good day. We love you, Dad! We love you, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. We love you. We wish you, we kissed you. To all the fathers out there, happy Father's Day to Born to Ride. Thank you. Happy Father's Day of all the fathers and Born to Ride. Yeah. The motor running, heading on the highway, looking for the venture. But never come highway. This is for Father's Day. Um. <gasps> hey, what are y'all doing? Nothing. Nothing. What are you doing with the microphone and the camera set up? Oh, we were just staying here. Um doing something like because I thought we were gonna go for a ride or something and I didn't know the camera what are you doing with the camera out here you got something up your sleeve um no do you no. are you sure no what are you, what are, is that camera on what are we doing I don't know <laughs> mommy set it up for something she did Oh, okay. All right, well, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Good! Let's go shack some bait. Saturday, July 24th, it's coming. Born to Ride's Great American Moto Fest. The demand for Harley-Davidson's is at an all-time high. People are buying Harley-Davidson's as fast as we can stock them. That makes your bike worth more than ever before. Have you ever wonder what that bike sitting in your garage is worth? It's never been easier than right now. Come visit us at Crystal Harley-Davidson, located in Homosasso, Florida, or visit us at crystalharley.com. Check out the all-new BornToRide.com with radio, TV, industry, adventure, events, magazines, social media, and much more. It's the all-new BornToRide.com. 
Is your business becoming invisible? Create a great advertising relationship today with Born to Ride.